Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in module 3. In this module, we are considering numerical differentiation and numerical integration. In the first three lectures of this module, we will go over numerical differentiation. And in the final three lectures of this module, we will go over numerical integration. This is lecture 3.1. In this lecture, we are going to cover differentiation in single variable. Primarily, this lecture is going to focus on first differences that is f dash of x given f of x. In module 2, we had co covered forward difference formula for f of x. So, if the forward difference formula for f of x is given over here, f, f dash of x is given by f of x plus h minus f of x, the whole thing divided by h. We saw that this method was order h to the power 1 accurate. That was the forward difference formula. The other formulae for first derivatives are given over here. The forward difference formula, as we just said, was f of x plus h minus f of x, the whole thing divided by h. The accuracy is h to the power 1. The central difference formula is more accurate than the forward difference formula. And the central difference formula is f of x plus h minus f of x minus h divided by 2h. What that means is, if you want to find a derivative at f of x, we take a po one point before that, uh, that po particular point, one point after that particular point and find a slope using those two points. That's what the central difference formula is. You probably already know from your uh, mathematics course that central difference formula is more accurate than the forward difference formula. It is h to the power 2 accurate. What that means is every time we decrease the h by a factor of 10, the error also decreases by a factor of 100, not factor of 10. Why is that so? That's because it's h to the power 2 accurate. And the backward difference formula is given over here. What we are going to do is we will take the same example that we covered in module 2, that is tan inverse of x and we will find out the uh, forward, central and backward difference formulae for that particular problem. We will do that for h equal to 10 to the power minus 4. So let's go to MATLAB and do this problem. So edit numdiff1. Okay. Comparing numerical differentiation formulae for f dash of x f x equal to tan inverse x at x equal to 1 okay. so a equal to 1 uh, and Val is going to be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus a squared and our h is 1 e 1.0 e minus 4 okay the forward difference formula okay the forward difference formula is tan inverse of a plus h minus tan inverse of a divided by h. Okay. F W D B I F F equal to a tan a plus h minus a tan of a divided by h. Okay. And we need to put brackets over here because the entire numerator needs to be divided by h. Error in forward difference formula is abs of 2 val minus fwd diff. Okay. Central difference ctr if equal to let's go over here a tan of a plus h minus a tan of a minus h divided by 2h okay so a tan 
a plus h minus a tan a minus h okay this needs to again go in brackets if you remember divided by h sorry divided by 2 multiplied by h and again the, the, the denominator also goes in brackets error ctr remember to remember these brackets in both the numerator as well as the denominator okay error in central difference formula is abs true val minus ctr diff okay and we will just copy and paste this for backward difference formula backward difference formula bkd diff is bkd diff is a tan of a minus a tan of a minus h divided by h so let's make that change so a tan of a minus a tan of a minus h divided by h error bkd bkd is absolute value of true val minus b k d diff okay okay so let's save this and let's run this and see the results okay so we have run this and we now have the results over here the error in backward difference formula is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 central difference formula is 8 into 10 to the power minus 10 and the forward difference formula is also 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 if we want we can go over here and we can display the results using this as we had seen earlier this error in forward difference is num2 str err fwb close this and this will display the error and likewise this error in central difference is num2 str err fwd let me not change this err fwd and just run it and see what actually happens okay you know you know what to expect over here i just want to show that because this is actually a fairly common error i mean come to think of it you would think that these are small things that we will not make an error but these are again small things it's it's uh, it's a human exercise writing a code is a human exercise and these things are bound to happen so i'm just showing you the, some of the common things that uh, uh, we end up doing in fact i myself do these type of errors uh, 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 a few times and these errors sometimes are fairly difficult to detect so let me run this and see what happens okay so what happens when i run this is error in forward difference formula is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 and error in central difference formula again is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 so this should raise your suspicion so why are we getting the same results and we know why we are getting the same results is because not because we made a mistake in calculating the central difference formula we forgot to change this err fwd to err ctr okay so we just do that save and run this and now we will get the correct results error in forward difference is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 and error in central difference is 8.3 into 10 to the power minus 10 so we see that the central difference formula is much more accurate than the forward difference and the backward difference formula okay so we have finished this particular example so what we have seen is we have done this particular example for 10 to the power minus 4 what we want to do now is repeat for a range of values uh, recall that we had done this in uh, module 2 using a for loop now we are going to do this not using a for loop but using array operations okay and let's go over here what i will do is i will comment out all of this so that we only focus ourselves on forward different formula you right click and click on comment 
once you do that the entire thing will comment be commented out and this won't run i will delete this display also because we don't need it okay so now what we want to do is we want to do this for h equal to 10 to the power minus 1 10 to the power minus 2 10 to the power minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 okay we can do this using array operations so instead of giving h as a single value we can give h as an array 10 to the power minus 1 in steps of minus 1 up to minus 5 okay so this guy is going to give us a vector which is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 we are doing an element by element power this is important we are doing an element by element power uh, of 10 so which will lead to our h being equal to 10 to the power minus 1 2 3 4 and 5 let's highlight this and evaluate this right click evaluate selection and see what we get Indeed, we get h equal to 10 to the power minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Okay, let's go over here and look at what happens when we give this numerator. Let me highlight just the numerator, right click along with the parenthesis, let me highlight it. Right click and click on evaluate selection. Okay. Now we have not defined our a so a equal to 1 I'm sorry about that okay and let's re-evaluate this particular guy and press enter okay we again get a vector okay a tan a plus h minus a tan a is a vector so now what we are doing is we have a 1 by 5 vector in the numerator and we have a 1 by 5 vector in the denominator and we are dividing it okay there is another problem over here we need to make another change okay i won't tell, tell what the change we need to make is can you spot what other change we need to make okay i'll pause you can pause this video and think about what is one more change that we may need to make in order to compute the forward difference formula over here i will run this code and let us see what actually happens what we are expecting is forward difference formula to be a 1 by 5 vector. Let us see what we get. FWD diff forward diff is not a 1 by 5 vector but instead is just a single value. Okay, And the reason for this is by doing this slash we are not taking an element by element division but actually we are doing what is known as least squares. Don't worry about what we are actually doing over here. This is something that we will probably cover in module 6 of this course. Okay, You shouldn't be using slash for element by element division but you should be using dot slash because we want to do an element by element division. Let's save this and run this and see what results we get. Okay, Let's plot on a log log plot h versus err fwd and we will get this straight line remember this is the result that we had already obtained in module 2 we had done that using a for loop now we have resolved it using array operations in matlab okay so let's now let's look, look at this for a range of operate range of values of h from 10 to the power minus 1 to let's say 10 to the power minus 12 okay but before that we will also do this for central and backward difference formula. So let me highlight this, right click and click on uncomment. Okay. Remember all the thing that we needed to change is we needed to convert our edge into a vector and the only thing that we needed to change over here was a dot slash. Nothing else was required. And that's because a tan itself takes when it gets a vector it will give a vector as a result where tangent values are for obtained at for each element and two star h we do not need a dot star because this is a scalar multiplication so none of the other things are changed and let us do this let's plot plot the results we need to plot it on a log log plot 
H F W sorry E R R F W D blue line H E R R C T R let's say a dash red line and H E R R B K D as a dot dash magenta line okay let's save and run this and see what results we are getting okay the magenta line and the blue line lie almost on top of each other okay and the error in forward and backward difference formulas are greater than the error that we see in central difference formula okay now let us increase this to let's say 10 to the power minus 10 and see what we get okay if you recall what we have done in module 2 what we should be getting is we will be getting a minima in error at certain value of h that value of h is going to be different for forward difference formula and for central difference formula that's what we will see so let's clear all okay let's save this and let's run okay so what we get is that the error in forward and central backward difference formula fall error in central difference formula also fall and there is a minima the minima for forward difference form uh, and backward difference formula happen at 10 to the power minus 8 whereas the minima for central difference formula happen at 10 to the power minus 5 okay the actual place where the minima happen is eps to the power 1 by 2 for forward and central forward and backward difference formula and at 1 by 3 for the central difference formula so the minima in the error is at 10 to the power minus 8 for uh, forward difference formula and approximately around 10 to the power minus 5 or 10 to the power minus 6 for the uh, central difference formula okay so let's see what we have so recall module 2 trade-off between truncation and round of error we see similar trade-offs in uh, forward and central difference formula also okay so this the theoretical uh, ideas behind this were covered in computational techniques course module 6 part 2 the link for which is given over here so if you are interested in getting a theoretical understanding of why we get minima at uh, various values for uh, forward and central and backward difference formula you can go to this video lectures and view those video lectures okay uh, in in that lecture what we have done is we have taken f of x equal to 2 minus x plus ln x and computed forward central and backward difference formula for that particular problem and the true solution is given by 1 by x minus 1 okay so this is a problem that you may want to solve for practice okay so with that i come to the end of lecture 3.1 in this lecture, we have covered forward, backward and central difference formula for calculating f dash of x. Thank you and see you in the next, next lecture.